welcome back to living in thailand if this is your first time here thank you so much for clicking on this video if you've been here before thank you so much for coming on back your girl got a new video and this time it is a thrift haul i'm super excited to show you some things that i got from thrifting here in brooklyn with a friend of mine so if this is your first time here i make lifestyle diy and natural hair content so if that's something that you're interested in please do not forget to subscribe. We have a growing number of subscribers and I'm super excited and I'm super thankful. So yeah, let's get into the video. So yeah, I went thrifting in Brooklyn and um, I went with one of my friends and I thought it would be really cool to show you guys what I got. Um, I don't really do like clothing hauls on this channel, but I am an avid thrifter. I advocate for like just sustainability and secondhand things and all that kind of stuff. So um, I haven't thrifted in a while, but I cleared out my closet because it became a point to where I had like clothes in my closet, but I wasn't wearing anything. And not just because of the pandemic, I just didn't like the clothes that I had in my closet. And it's because I often bought things that were, you know, like you just have it because it's kind of cute. But I know myself, if I just think something is kind of cute, I'm probably not going to wear it. In order for me to wear clothes, in my closet I have to absolutely love them so now I'm curating and cultivating a closet of just things that I love so um, I got rid of a lot of stuff so I needed to basically go shopping again I like to start thrifting as a starting point just so you can see what's out there you can see like you may you know find some nice jeans and it's just like okay I just need to find a shirt that I may not thrift but it's kind of like you get your foundation of what you can potentially get that's not thrifted so that's what I did um, I'm super excited because I got some really cool pieces and I can't wait for you guys to see I'm gonna take you um, through the things the items that I bought from the cheapest thrift store to the most expensive thrift store if that if that makes sense um so the point is in bushwick and um it is the cheaper one out of the stores that i visited um i only got one item here because this place is huge it is really big um but it's one of those places where you got to find like things one item that i did get was this h&m dress um, I'm pretty sure if you are an avid H&M person, you probably have seen this dress before or this print. You know how they have the print, then they have the crop top, then they have the jean, the pants, then the tank tops of like the same print. It's one of these, but I really, really like this one because it, um, it's cute. It's yellow. I love yellow on like a uh, brown skin. And I was looking for something where it's like cute enough to where I could just throw on when I'm like either going grocery shopping or like running errands and I don't have to put on jeans. It's a longer dress. So I was like, this, this will be perfect to when you don't want to look like a bum and you still kind of want to look cute, but you're not trying to do too much. You know what I mean? So that is what this is. I did get this in a size four um so yeah and this was seven dollars so from the point uh this was the only thing i got to be completely honest when i thrift i don't like clothes to look like they are thrifted um i know that they are second hand but like i want them to still either look like they just came out of my closet or i got them new i don't want to look like they are second hand so it was just harder to find things that didn't look worn there still a great thrift store i still think that you know if you're in brooklyn check it out but i only was able to snag one item next is one of my favorite thrift stores it's called l train vintage and this is kind of like the moderately uh price you can find I'm like low end and high end high end items there um huge 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 thrift store huge thrift store i went to the one in bushwick and you can find a lot of items priced relatively nice um i think the most expensive thing i got was like 10 bucks so um at this particular thrift store so first up are these plaid shorts which i really really like i am if you know me you know that this like i think it's called gig hand uh gigum uh pattern is like i just love this pattern so much i just love stuff like this anyways this is what i got these are a size 10 so that's what i'm saying these are size 10 but i can fit them i like that they are like baggy um i paired it with i tried it on with just like this uh fishnet sh fish fishnet shirt that i have that i've been having literally for like 10 years and it went re really well with that so i probably am going to wear that but 
love these pants i mean these shorts i love that they're baggy they're not tight um i have room in them yes and these were eight dollars next on the list is uh another type of item that i'm going to say like i can just throw on and i don't really have to think about like what outfit i have on it's just like blue jean denim dress that buckles that buttons in the front and it has pockets which i'm super excited about the pockets um this is from j jill um and i just like this I, it's it was cute you know it's one of those things where it's like it's a it's a very nice basic to have um i definitely will probably wear it with the belt to kind of snatch in that waist that's just kind of like my whole style i love a snatched waist because i am i don't have really have a, a shape so i have to kind of create those lines within my body um but yeah i like this again another item that when i'm doing errands or what have you i can just throw this on look cute but not do too much and and not be hot you know what i mean because like it's hot it, summertime in new york is hot so you need something flowy you need something breathable and that's what this is and i paid 10 bucks for this next on the list are these long pants um which i really like too so just a little bit about me when i go thrifting i am either looking for really good basics that are cheap or like really really unique pieces right like i know that i'm probably not gonna you know uh get my whole wardrobe from a thrift store but i'm just looking for pieces like okay that's you know that's a pretty basic type of item but it's three books so like why would i get it type thing that's th the the deal with these i would not necessarily buy these in store but since they were at the thrift store and these were 10 bucks i was like why not these are from uh forenza sportswear I don't I've never heard of this brand but I really like these uh, can just wear it with a crop top um, these are some pants that I can bike in these are some pants that I can just like walk around in they're breathable they're light you know they're not necessarily they're like that thicker linen I guess I don't think these are linen but um yeah I I really like these um, and these were 10 bucks so yeah next um, I found a shirt this is a calvin klein button down shirt it's i just love the print y'all i think that's why i got it i just love the print the print looks so versatile to me um you can wear it you know it's a button down shirt you can wear it multiple ways top in the front off your shoulders all that this is very very soft breathable material it's so soft it's like really really soft um this is something that i'm definitely going to get somewhere out of uh this was only eight dollars it's in really good condition it's calvin klein it's all the things that you know will make you want to say yes so um yeah i'm super excited about this too um so yeah that's just a button down from calvin klein Calvin Klein, I got something in Calvin Klein in my closet. I'm fancy. <laughs> okay. And last on from L Train Vintage is my favorite piece, I think, out of everything that I have. This dress, I saw it, and um, at first I didn't want to, I did, I looked at it, I was like, ooh, this is cute, but then I was like, oh, it's not my size, it's a 5'6", and I was like, I don't even want to play myself. And then the girl that I was with, she saw it, and she was like, girl, try this on i was like okay that's confirmation she was like did you see this try this on i was like i saw about that so she's like no you need to get this so this dress this dress y'all don't have to see it on oh, i'm gonna show y'all this dress is just so freaking cute i have no idea why i'm wearing this too i have no idea why i'm wearing this too but i just love it i love the low cut i love the belt i love it gives me that snatch waist it has pockets it's long my butt look good like i just really really love this dress i feel grown i feel like i'm going to like like this is the type of dress that you know you wore in like the 80s when you're in harlem you know in new york you you know you going to the little cigarette lounge or something i don't know but i love this dress i love 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 like the late 80s early 90s type of fashion when it comes to like stuff like this just that whole silhouette it's like sexy without like showing too much skin that's me right that's me love this dress y'all this dress was only ten dollars ten dollars i was so happy 
so happy so happy i don't know where i'm wearing this to it's gonna be on a date but i don't know like i gotta get some shoes i just really really love this dress i can't believe i fit it. it's a five six why would i think i can fit this i don't know why would i think i could fit this but i can i can and i see it honey and i got it I'm so excited. So excited about this. Alright, so that is all that I got from L Train Vintage. Again, it is one of the more popular uh, thrifting stores. So if you're ever in New York or if you live in Brooklyn currently or if New York currently, check it out. I'm pretty sure you're going to find some stuff. The friend, my friend that I went with found some great items too. Like, it is definitely one of those places where you can kind of spend the whole day there or at least a couple of hours because there's just so much stuff. Like literally people had like baskets of things. Okay, so the last store that I went to is called Beacon's Closet. I went to two of them though, one in Bushwick and then one in Brooklyn. I'm gonna show you footage from the one in Bushwick. Now this is one of the more expensive uh, thrifting stores because they have just like a lot of good quality things. This is the place where I feel like you find like those unique items, but you are gonna pay a pretty penny. I think there was some Versace in there. Um, there was this nice memory only jacket in there that it's just like it's one of those places where pe that's where people send their stuff um it's it, and it the price tag shows because this is the most expensive things that i bought and i'm just like was it is it really worth it no but i really love these items so yeah we're gonna get right into it First on the list i got these blue jean shorts i know they're basic but these were uh nine books and i honestly think these were the only ones I found at the one in Bushwick and I wanted to leave with something I wanted to leave with something I was just like I want something because that's the first store we went to and I just did not want to be discouraged on my thrifting fine so I bought these these are actually a size 30 um I don't know the brand on these but they feel good they're you can definitely tell that they're like denim and they're not like that um stretch denim i'm not a big fan of that i like like real denim things oh these are assassin i don't know what assassin is but these are assassin these were ten dollars some shorts you can you know wear these with whatever blue jean shorts yay next on the list are some of my favorite shorts that i cannot wait to wear and it is these colorful flower shorts that I got I really like these y'all and they kind of look like pajamas but they're not I'm not gonna wear them as pajamas these are I saw these and I was like oh these are so cute these are gonna be perfect for when I go bike riding because they are light they're baggy I you know typically I can't wear a dress when I bike ride so I want something that's still kind of cute I can ride my bike to the park and still look cute um I paid $12 for these but I just love them so much I just think they're so cute I think they're so cute. I know. I think these are so cute. <laughs> I just can't wait to wear and they're soft too. And they have pockets and they just have all the things that I like in a short. The print, the length, the pockets, you know, the expandable race so I can keep these for a long time. So like, yeah, I like these. I love these. I love these actually. Next on the list are some pair of pants that I did not think that I was going to be able to fit but I actually really like them and then I looked they look like I can fit them in the waist and then I looked at the tag and I was like what are these Zara pants um I really like these pants and I'm not a color person like I'm usually stick to my neutrals I'll throw in a color every, here and there never pink but for some reason I really really like these pants I think they're super versatile they have these uh buckle things at the bottom so it's kind of like a a closed ankle which i love um i feel like you can dress these up or dress them down very comfortable light very much so i really like these these were double zero and the fact that i can fit them and i have room i'm just like i don't know so that's what i'm saying like you honestly when thrifting you kind of just got to try stuff on because i don't know how it goes from like zara in the store to the thrift store to the sizes just don't the sizes don't compute the same i don't know how but these are a double zero and i can fit these i haven't worn a double zero since like high school so like yeah but i'm super duper excited about these i don't know have you guys seen this print i know like zara and h m are the ones where like when you know they print you know they print i don't think i've ever seen these prints but i'm also not a huge shopper like this so i don't know but i really love these and then next on the list is another dress another pink dress which i don't know what's wrong with me but this dress i really really love it looks like it reminds me of like a nurse 
in the 50s like that not pepto bismol pink but just that pastel pink so cute i gotta find the appropriate belt like what i'm showing y'all is not the appropriate belt i need a really good belt for this um this is in from pixie market i haven't heard of them either but this is so cute i love the off the shoulder i just love how it fits me i love that it's kind of short i just love this number i love it i love it i love it and i can't believe i'm adding color to my wardrobe y'all but yeah that i love this i love this i cannot wait to wear it i cannot wait to wear it to somebody's brunch i'm wearing this i gotta find shoes and a belt for this too and last but not least throughout this whole thrifting experience i was wearing my target sandals which target sandals are actually comfortable but they are not for the long haul they are not for the long walks in new york so by the time we got to uh, the last store when i tell you my feet were on fire i was like i have to find some shoes i found some Doc, uh-oh, I found some Doc, Doc Martens sandals. I am so freaking excited. These were $45. These basically are like new. They feel so good. Like when I tell you, it was like walking on a cloud. These are my summer shoe. They make my feet look huge. I do look like glossy and a good, but I honestly do not care because these are the most comfortable shoes that I think that I own and I cannot wait to wear them. I'm probably going to wear these even in the wintertime with some socks. I don't care because these are just so comfortable. Like these are regular price, like $100 and then they were there for $45, which is more than half off and they're like basically new and I love these so much and I can ride my bike in these and yeah, I love these. I love these. I love it. So yeah, that is the end of my thrifting haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm thinking about going back again. So let me know down below if you would want to see what I get again. I'm super excited because I definitely think New York City has some really, really great thrifting. You can just find like some really, really great items. And I'm so glad that I found some stuff that I really, really love. Like that's what gets me excited. I'm not like the fashion girl. I'm not like the shopper girl. But things that I love that gets me excited when i find things that i absolutely love and that look good on me and things like that yeah it's girl yeah <laughs> okay but y'all thank y'all so much for watching this video and i will see y'all in the next one